Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Right, it is early right now. I actually feel sorry. No, I actually feel sorry for people who like click on this video as like the first video of mine they watch because I always look like this in the mornings. Um, but just ignore, okay, it's gonna get better. But anyway, today, so today I'm actually doing a daily vlog because, guys, it is the 12th of April today, which means things are starting to open up. Now, obviously, um, people who watch my videos know that I work in retail, I work in New Look, and for some reason I've got today off. They just let me have today off, which is literally just so nice. So, one, me and one of my friends are actually going to go into Oxford later. Don't even have any money to spend, we're just going to walk around and admire the fact that there are other people around. Like, I literally can't even wait. Like, to be honest, I'll probably end up spending money that I don't have. Little did she bloody know. Guys, wait till the end of the video if you want to see how much damage I did. Uh. <laughs> it's just so exciting, it's so exciting. Um, but I've woken up early this morning, I woke up at six because um, I'm gonna get a little workout in, hence why I'm just like this, didn't just wake up like this. I'm gonna get a little workout in before and then get in the shower, wash my hair, bloody needs doing, look at that, it looks so bad. And get all ready nice and put a nice outfit on. Although guys, today, okay, it's a 12th of April, I've just said that. It's snowing, fully snowing. Like, I'll show you in a sec, it's literally fully snowing. Like, what am I gonna wear? Like, I was expecting I'm gonna wear like my bright colors, some of the new stuff I've got. It's actually snowing. Like, it has, it, like, I don't know, I'm speechless. Speechless. But yeah, anyway, I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning because my camera's gonna die, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through this. But I've started basically like a 14 day, I say it's called like a shred. It's not really a shred, it's kind of more like a 14 day, like going hard for 14 days. I don't know. It just is like a lot of exercise, eating really well, waking up like early, going to bed early, drinking lots of water, all that kind of thing. I've literally just like written down here the stuff that I'm gonna do, uh, which is why I'm waking up at 6 a.m. So it's 6 a.m. on weekdays, 8 a.m. on weekends for the next 14 days. I just thought, I don't know, it'd be a fun little challenge to do. So that's why I'm up now. Um, I actually feel quite awake and good. So let's get on with the day. I'm gonna do a workout first. I've also got my coffee here. I have to drink my coffee before I do my workout, otherwise I just can't get through it. So I'm gonna have to go for a hot coffee today because it's actually snowing. Let me show you. Like guys, I wasn't even lying when I said it's snowing. Like it's fully snowing. <laughs> Someone explain, like what? It's not even supposed to be snowing right now. Like, the weather doesn't say it's supposed to be snowing, but you know. I'm out of the shower. Now I feel a lot more clean. I look, look how dirty. Ew, that's like fake tan. Ew, that's actually it might be makeup. I don't even know. That's kind of grim. My tan hasn't even really developed that much. I think I feel, maybe I'm just being picky. Like I feel like maybe it has. I'm just being silly. The snow is melting. Thank God because we just. I wasn't ready to have a snow day. I really wasn't. I just don't want to be walking around mid-April in snow, really, do I? So I'm taking really good, I hate this light. Sorry, I hate this light so much. I can't wait to move to Manchester and not have this freaking light. Like, it's actually just so ugly. It literally just, I don't even know what it looks like. It's just disgusting. I'm taking really good care of my hair at the moment just because I want it to grow and I've recently had it bleached and stuff like that. So like, I don't know. To be honest, I think I'll probably go brown like in a couple of years. I don't know, maybe next year, I don't know, just because it's literally killing my hair, but I love the blonde, so we're gonna go with the blonde for a little bit longer. Anyway, what was I even saying? Oh yeah, I'm taking good care of my hair because, you know, your hair is just as important as your skin and I'm taking good care of my skin too, although, look at that spot. I mean, I'm not even gonna complain. No, I'm not gonna complain because some people have it so much worse and I'm, you know, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've been so lucky recently to actually be working with Lee Stafford, which, is crazy to me like i just like like lee stafford like it's like a proper hair brand i don't know it's just really really cool um so they actually almost a nip slip there not quite unlucky so they actually sent me a couple of bits they sent me when i did my pink hair which oh my god by the way i'm missing so much they've also just sent me some like hair growth stuff so it's like got three little things in the package that they sent me um the first thing is like a scalp scrub thing so you kind of like massage it into your scalp and i think it just like stimulates growth i've got no idea i honestly have no idea what it does um i haven't actually used that one yet the other one is just like some deep conditioning treatment which i actually use in the shower and my hair feels unbelievable and then the last thing that came in the little package um is this stimulating scalp serum we're gonna try that today so they want me to just what do they want me to do apply two full pets directly to wet or dry scalp comb through from root to tip then start as usual do not rinse okay we'll do that we'll just literally drop it on my head who even knows at this point i've got no idea what i'm doing 
don't know why I'd want to do that to dry hair. That kind of be a bit grim. So I'm actually super excited to vlog today. I'm going into Oxford. I've already said this. I know I've already said this, but I'm just going to say it again. I'm going into Oxford with um, LJ, which is one of my friends. She's actually called Lauren James. We call her LJ because there was two Laurens in our group um, when we were at school. So it was just easier, you know? Not that I need to explain. I kind of wish I had a nickname. Does anyone else have that, like, at school? Because my name's just Ella. Like, you can't really nickname Ella. Do you know what I mean? Like, because it is just, it is just the easiest name. Like, it's just really short. But I never had a nickname and it's... I kind of wish I did. All the people that are like in my life that are, oh God, I don't know how to put it. Like all my ex-boyfriends and like my mum and my brother um, all call me L or L's, but they're the only people, like none of my friends have ever called me that. I mean, some of my friends do. It's weird, isn't it? How like some people call you nicknames and like how both my ex-boyfriends call me L, but like no one else does. Anyway. Right, well, I don't know, I'm literally chatting so much shit. I'm gonna get ready because I feel like, well, I feel a bit ugly today. I don't know what it is. I just feel a bit ugly, so I'm gonna get ready. And I'm gonna try and pick an outfit for the flipping snow. Like, I didn't, I didn't agree to it. I didn't agree to it. I did not order this. So can you please leave? Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I feel so nice to be ready to be going out somewhere. Look at my hair. Oh my God, it's so much blonder. It's so much nicer. I feel so nice just to be properly ready. And look at the sunglasses I'm gonna wear, guys. You're not even ready. So my hair's a mess, hold on. Is this bad bitch vibes or is this bad bitch vibes? Now the annoying thing is, I've got these jeans on from Shein, look. And I've like done the little button thing because they don't fit me properly. The annoying thing is, we have to wear a flipping coat because it's so cold outside, so... Look at my earrings. So obviously the big ones are from Primark, I've worn them quite a lot of times. But the little ones that I've got next to them, they're from the Peachy Jewelry Company thing that I'm from on Instagram. Absolutely love them. This is the fit. Oh, LJ's coming in literally just a second, and we're gonna go. Mm. I'm honestly so excited. I can't really contain my excitement. Like I'm actually so excited. Of course, I'm gonna take you with me, and I'm gonna show you like what life is like without COVID anymore. Well, no, COVID is still here. COVID is very much still here, but like, what life is like half COVID, maybe half COVID. Yeah, that's probably the best way to put it. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> we're here. We're in town. We're in town. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Please tell me you bought it. <laughs> Oh, it's in the car. Oh, you're <laughs> I think it is anyway. Oh dear. I left my mask in the car. So I know, I was excited to go. Let's go and go. You know what, as well? I need a wee. Right, guys, we're in, we're in the queue for Primark. And you've actually never seen anything like it. I didn't even realise there was this many people in Oxford, to be honest with you. Actually, I've never seen this many people in one place in so long like there's so many people here it's actually unbelievable i'll show you the key really quick it starts here wait that right yeah there and it goes all the way here all the way here all the way around here and here and it goes it goes back so you know really good really nice but it shouldn't take too long we got in it oh i don't have my watch on we got in it at like 20. yeah so how long are you gonna guess it takes um oh, i reckon at least no i reckon 20 minutes 20 minutes, yeah. so 10 past. I reckon we'll get in at, I reckon we'll get in at quarter past. But then we're gonna shot till we drop, baby. <laughs> Guys, I found this, Oh, this pink blazer. Look how bright it is. It's a size 16, but it's only seven pound. And it's kind of flimsy and kind of cheap, but I was just like, it's seven pound. So yeah, that's going in my basket. Primark sunglasses actually are the best. I literally, I got these ones, right? It's not gonna focus. These ones, two quid, and these ones, two quid. How unreal is that? And those red ones are kind of cool too, but I don't need red sunglasses. But yeah, both of these pairs of sunglasses, two quid. Um, no brainer, actual no brainer. Right, damage has been done in Primark, guys. <laughs> oh God. I've actually not bought that much. I've actually put my coat in there as well, so it does make it look bigger. LJ's just finishing playing, and then we're gonna go and get some food. Because we're both so hungry, and I think we're gonna get a Nando's. So, what? Yeah. How much was it? 75. <gasps> Mine was 49, but the bag was a pound. I thought I'd get a, a good reusable bag, you know? He he offered me mine. <gasps> Look how cute all those bucket hats are. We've already decided we can Yeah, I know. We've already decided they don't see us. But um, yes, off to Nando's, I think, now, after we've both spent a lot of money. I'm gonna. I'm trying to be healthy though, so I might. I might not get a burger just because it's unnecessary carbs. I don't know. Well, isn't it? Oh, I love this colour. The queues in Primark are actually a bit ridiculous as well. Me and LJ were literally saying how we're just, I'm not very good at queuing. As in, obviously I, I'm good at queuing, you just stand there, but I'm not very good at like waiting for anything. So yeah, but now time. Ooh. Oh my God, my eyes look really blue in this light. Yeah. That is stressing me out. Well, it's fine. Yeah. 
<laughs> you're fine please be fine um we just stopped to have a little oops, snack and we're really confused about what the rules are because this is kind of outside but it's kind of inside and like, everyone has masks on some people don't and it's just all a bit of a confusing thing but we know we're allowed to eat um anyway so oh it's pretty hot yeah i've got a ponytail headache so good get one already can you not take it down mm. it's not normally probably gonna go well so did i tell you 49 pound damage in pharma not that bad the queue's getting longer and there is so many people in here i don't know whether do you reckon this is like the normal amount of people that are in here and it just seems weird or do you I reckon it's actually busy more than this. Mm. but on the weekend it'd be busy out mm. like yeah because it's all the rich shops <laughs> it's all the ones that we spent in um i reckon this weekend it's actually gonna be man it mm. man it yeah look how many people there are there's just so many people walking around. Crazy, right? We're gonna eat this. Oh yeah, we're also in the in the key Fernandez, but it tastes like 40 minutes, so that's why we're eating something now. Way orders come. I'm worried that people are gonna think I'm weird because I got broccoli, but oh, we also need knives and forks. That might be handy. Yum, 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 yum. And we just sat like. I mean, I was gonna say look at the view, but it's not that great. The view over there is so nice. I'll actually show you when we walk past. It's nice. Um, could I have the medium garlic one, please? And can we have knives and forks, please? Thank you. That looks so much in first year. Oh my god, I drank like four nights a week in, in first year. Yeah, it was awful, wasn't it? And now I go like once a month. What is my eyebrows so? So, we have cracked. I probably should have put my coat in the car. Oh well, it's fine, I'll carry it. Um, my mask keeps slipping down, it's really annoying. We put our bags in the car because we had too many. So now we're going back out to spend more money, which is really great. We just had a Nando's, very nice, very full. We're both suffering with <laughs> abdominal pain <laughs> but there we go like that's just the price you have to pay <laughs> um, but we're now gonna hit zara probably need to check my bank account because i don't have that much money but that's probably a good thing um because i can't be spending too much money in zara we're gonna do huh i don't i will transfer i do have money in my savings i will transfer so that's fine um uh yeah <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go zara then h&m Sorry, I can't get over how blonde I left. I was coming up in the viewfinder. I'm like, holy crap, okay. Who's that bitch? <laughs> Who's that bitch? We're in H&M and I've decided, look at these. I need them, they're size medium, but they cinch, you know what I mean? Just like big oversized, sorry, my mask is falling down. Big oversized joggers. That green color is just, it's too big. I feel like it is long. Yeah, but that's nice because you can wear a mini dress and like no one can see your bum. It's quite big though. And is it just big because I've got a jumper? No, is the other one too yeah. small just because I've got a jumper? Yeah, that is true. Because it's quite nice like to be able to have it shorter so you can like see your watches in your hand. My mum will shout at me to buy one that's huge. So. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to try this grey one on. It's not going to go with my outfit at all. No, this is the thing. I think I don't like it because I'm literally wearing it. Yeah, you wouldn't wear what you're wearing with it. What size is this one? Small. There is a medium as well though. So. What size is the one you're going to get? Small? I think so. Because it only feels tight enough because I've got a full jumper. Yeah. On. What do you think, guys? Can you see me? I don't know. Can you see me? Yeah, because I think this is fine. Yeah, that's about, I'm a bit bigger than you. That's what I mean. Yeah, but I'm, this is this is big. Yeah, yeah, but big's good. I feel like this is too small now. I'm feeling too oh, stressed. I don't need it, but I don't. I just I just want it. I just need it. I do. I need it. I need it. I need it. What we actually have? Yeah. Who even cares at this point? It's only twelve pounds up for a whole blazer. <laughs> a whole blazer. Oh, you said a half a blazer, just a whole one. It depends what you're going to wear it with. Well, that's the point, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this is a bit drowning. If I change my mind, I'd always take it back and sell it. Yeah. You can always sell it on Depop. Someone will buy that on Depop yeah. for more than 12 quid. It's I'm a gonna good blazer. One, I think. Da -da 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 -da. I also, guys, might have bought a present for a certain somebody whose birthday is in, in a month. Uh, <laughs> it's like a... I'm not gonna let on who that is, but if you know, you know, if you don't, then cool, deal with it, because I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> right, okay. It will be a surprise. Carry on shopping. We're done. I spent way too much money. Oh God. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh well, also I've literally done exactly what I said I would do, and I literally bought no black or brown or nude, and I've just gone all colourful. Literally everything I've got is colourful. Your H&M shop was so My H&M shop was so colourful. I did like green, more green, purple, like so great. But I'll get home and I think maybe we'll do, we'll do the haul at the end of this video, guys. Shall we? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to get a haul when we go back.
someone needs to lock me up because this isn't okay. I am going to do a try on video for y'all, but I think I might film that tomorrow. Not that it's going to make any difference for you because you're going to see it in the same video to be honest. So I don't even know why I'm saying that. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I think I'm going to try film the video, try on video tomorrow, but damage has been done. Hello, everybody. So I've just got back from work. Hence. Right. So now I thought I'd just do a little... Quick little try on for you. Working in retail at this time. Obviously, you guys know I was shopping yesterday and kind of today, like whatever, in this vlog. Um, and now I work, went to work today. Holy crap. It's so busy. Um, but I'm glad to be back. Anyway, let's do this little try on haul. Okay, first thing. Oh my god, what do I do first? I'm so excited. Okay, I'll tell you what. First, I'll just show you some underwear because why the hell not? I got this cute little set from New Look and the bottoms were a pound and this was five pounds. If that doesn't tell you to shop a new look, then I don't know what does. Oh, also some more bottoms. And then I've got these pants from um, Primark. Now, the pants section of Primark, oh my god, like, it was so busy. Like, you know, like, the thong section where they have all the rolled up thongs and stuff. Oh my god, so busy. It was ridiculous. I've got these, and they look so comfortable and so flattering. How can I show you this? So, look, they're, like, can you see? They're, like, kind of V-shaped. How cool is that? And I thought they just looked so comfy and, like, perfect for basically, like, working out in and working in and stuff like that because they're just comfy. Do you know what I mean? Let's carry on with the new look because... We do have quite a bit from New Look, to be fair. New York. So, first thing we've got, I'm actually just gonna take this off. I do have a top on underneath. I do have a bra underneath. First thing we've got is oh, this shirt. Oh my God, look how amazing this is. This is from New Look. This was 20 pounds, well, 19.99 actually to be exact, but they do actually have 25% off right now. Not quite sure how long it's for. I think it might be until Sunday. So I am actually gonna put this video out, out tonight. So if you wanna go and shop in New Look, 25% off and including sale. Just, I'm sorry, I'm, I just work there, you know, I just love it. Anyway, this shirt, beautiful. I just thought, I mean, this shirt can literally go with anything. Like even just this outfit, like it just goes like, I got this in a size 12 because I thought, I wanted it oversized so that I'm able to like wear it like this or kind of wear it as a dress or a bikini cover up. I was actually thinking, I actually saw a Sarah Ashcroft photo, I'll insert it here, where she had like a little unitard on underneath and this. I've actually just got gifted a unitard from some brand so that's what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make it a little cute outfit like that. Next thing I got, oh my god this cute little cardigan, like I actually can't be asked to put it on properly so we're just going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to keep this, I'm still quite undecided so let me know down below if you think I should keep this. It's really kind of cute, like it's this bright pink colour and it's got these little like pearl buttons um, and I think it's so cute but like the buttons are oh, really hard to undo and I just don't know if it's worth it like because I think I'd just be like oh I can't be asked to put that on, do you know what I mean? But like it is, oh no it is super cute. It is kind of cute for like just a little cover up if, if you're at like a, a pub garden or something. I don't know, maybe I should keep it. I don't know, maybe I should keep it. <laughs> Whoops. What else have we got? Oh, the next thing. Look how cute! I'm not going to try this on because you guys are going to know what they look like. Like, But look, these are in the 915 section. Oh my god, just aren't they so cute? They were £6 each. Actually, 5 99 each. Obviously, there's 25% off, guys. Obviously, I got my discount, but you guys don't get that. Unlucky. Unless you work at New Look. Cute. Don't even need to say any more. That is, they're so cute. And they're just so versatile. Like, they were £3 each for me. Wow. What else have I got from New Look? Oh my god, these leggings. These are to die for. Look at the bun. Love. They literally are so... I'm going to have to put them on. Oh, cool. Look how high-waisted. Oh my god. No, I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed with these. I need a bit of stretchy stretch. Aren't they just so cute? Oh. Love, and they were literally, I can't remember how much they were, but they just feel so soft. Like, they just feel so nice. It's just these kind of like, more boyfriendy style shorts. I don't know, I do kind of love them. Um, they're kind of big on the waist, but I could kind of like, you know? Do you know what I mean? Like, think about just, I don't know, like, just these, and then like, they're so comfortable. And then I just like, chuck this over. You know? Do you know what I mean? I don't know, I kind of, Thing is, they were so cheap because they were in the sale and they were 25% off. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say that, but yeah. I think maybe I'll just keep them because they were so cheap. Love that. Next pair of denim shorts, you guys aren't even ready. Holy crap. Look! Look how cute they are. These are from New Look as well. And like, props to New Look. Like, isn't that so good? I don't know. I just think they're awesome. Like, they're just so cool. I really love these. And they make me give, give me like hips and they kind of look like a skirt. I don't know. I just love them. I think they're so cool. These were 20 quid as well. But again... 25% off, oh, I'm not gonna say it all the time. Right, that's it from New Look, I think. Is that it from New Look? Yeah. Now we're gonna move on to, what should we move on to now? H&M. First of all, right, just hold on. You see? Cinch, baby. Okay, so right, these are probably not like actual wear out joggers, but aren't they just so cool? Like they're just, the color is on it. Like they're just so comfy, so cozy. I just love them. I love them. They're so comfortable. I wore them last last night actually, to be fair, so they might be a bit creased, but love these. So nice. Cute, right? Ooh. See, like this kind of could be an outfit. I don't know. 
I like it. <laughs> Moving on. Oh my god, oh my god, you aren't even ready for the next thing. <laughs> oh, actually, I've also got this, which I don't really know if I'm going to keep because Lauren James told me to get it in the eight and not the four, and now I wish I got it in the four. Um, it's like a little cropped blazer, and it was only a tenner, but it's, do you know what I mean? Like, way too big. Do you see what I mean? Like, because I'd quite like to wear it, like, without anything underneath, and gal, that's not going to happen. Um, it's just a bit big, do you know what I mean? I kind of want it to sit, like, I don't know, but then, like, I'm thinking... It does look kind of cute, like, undone. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I had, like, a cute little dress underneath, or if I had, like, a cute bralette, it wouldn't matter. I don't know. I think I might keep it. It's kind of cute. It's only 10 quid, and I've been looking for one for ages. And I don't know. I think it's quite nice. It's quite structured. It's not got shoulder pads, which I kind of wish it did, but I don't know. I think this is still quite cute, right? I'll some H&M too. Love. And then... The best thing. Just wait. Although, I say it's the best thing. I don't actually know if I'm going to keep them, because I don't know if I'm actually going to wear them much, but they're really cool. I've got some lilac jeans. And they literally, like, guys, they couldn't fit more perfectly. Like, they fit so nice. They've got so much room. They're just lush. Like, they're, like, they're kind of like mum jeans style, I think. I'm not really 100% sure. I just love them. I think they're so cute. I just don't know if I'm going to wear them much. But then I think, like, you know, everybody wants a pair of lilac jeans. And they are quite cool. They are quite cool. I think maybe I should just keep them. I think I'm going to keep them. They're only £13, guys. £13. Woo! Like, honestly, this is the look I'm going for. Like, bright colours. Oh look, let's just whack this on with it. Jesus Christ. Hello Manchester. You know? Next thing. Okay, we've got, got some accessories. I've got some accessories. So, first thing is this little headscarf, which actually... No. Um, I don't really know how to wear them, but I thought they were really cute. Like, I don't know how to wear it. But you know what I mean? You get the vibe, right? You see? I don't know. I just... I don't think it's very me. I think maybe I might take this back. I don't know if that's even allowed, but I just... Oh, I don't, probably can't take it back. I don't know, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute, it's kind of not, because it's kind of not my style at all. I don't bloody know. Do you reckon I could wear it as a top? <gasps> oh, stop, no. And with these, oh, with these jeans as well. <gasps> I'm definitely keeping this. I might go and buy more. £2.50 this was, and it's basically a bandeau top. <gasps> cute is. Also, when in Primark, you have to buy accessories. The first thing I bought was this actual necklace. Actual necklace, as if it's like a not an actual necklace. Um, I think it's kind of cute. I don't know. You can kind of see what it's like. I do actually have another one that I want it to go with, but I broke it, so I need to fix that. What else did I get? Oh, I got some sunglasses. So, first of all, I got these ones. I think I actually showed these in the vlog. So, these are just like black ones. Proper boss bitch vibes. I love those. And then I got these ones, which these ones remind me of Tia Leo Zanetti. I don't know if that's how you say her name. Because they're like the same basically but tortoiseshell real cute oh and i got some lashes because i thought these looked really good i thought they looked voluminous you know i don't know so we're gonna try those um and then the best of all if no one knows the primark stick on nails are literally the best thing ever like you have to get them they're a pound and they last like a week obviously sometimes like sometimes they like pop off pop off did anyone else used to call a fart a pop off when you were younger because your mum didn't want you to say the word fart because mine did if they pop off it's fine because you just like stick them back on but like, they literally last like a week so if you think a pound a week whereas normally you'd spend like 40 quid on like nails and you can change them every week like it's so good so i got a couple of nails i did look at all those bright colors oh my god so i got whoa blue really cute and then i got these ones which oh my god they're like all different colors i love that i got these yellow ones oh, cute and then lilac Ly love those because they're really long ones as well love that and then some little cute stubby pink ones. Cute. That's all I got. I did actually get some other things, but I'm not going to show you the things I didn't like because, I mean, there's a reason I didn't like them because they look horrible on me. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. So I hope you liked everything I got. And yeah, let's go to the, I don't know, whichever part of the video we were at before I jumped in here and showed you what I got. So yeah, that's it. I'm absolutely obsessed. I am taking a couple of bits back, but I haven't actually shown you the bits I'm taking back because like, why would I show you something that I don't like on me? Like, doesn't make much sense, does it? But I'm just going to sit and chill now. I'm actually so knackered. We ended up, we walked, look, it's so, whoa, chill out. Um, we walked like 10,000 steps. Shopping is actually hard work. Like it's hot. You're carrying a lot of stuff. There's just a lot going on. Do you know what I mean? Like it's quite warm. It is really is quite hot. Um, but I did that anyway. I spent way too much money. Like I actually went, spent so much money, but I am taking back like 40 quids worth of stuff. So that's not too bad. It's still bad, but it's not that bad. Like it's okay. But I'm now going to sit and I'm just going to watch. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to watch because there's literally nothing to watch watch right now like i'm actually so bored of everything on netflix although i was actually saying i'm actually so excited for like the next like week or so when everybody's been out shopping and like all the hauls and stuff that people are going to do of what have gone out shopping on their first day which is really exciting i'm going to stop rambling and i'm going to sit and watch some stuff and then i'll catch you when i'm having some dinner although i don't really think i'm going to have much for dinner to be fair today because i did have nando's and i'm trying to be good 
cereal for dinner. Yummy yum. Also, guys, look, little sneak peek. Whoop, whoop, little sneak peek of what I actually got today. Um, most comfortable drawers. They're massive. Um, I mean, you'll, you will have seen in the trial. Why did I do a sneak peek if you've already seen in the trial clips I've done? Um, yeah, cereal for dinner. Oh my god, you can have. Oh, I just love cereal. I absolutely love cereal. So I'm gonna have this. And then, to be honest, I mean, I might be being a bit over dramatic. It's quarter to seven, but I do want to get in bed. And I know it's like fully light outside, but I kind of want to be asleep by ten tonight. Um, that is perfect. I don't know. Is that silly? I don't know. No, it's fine. I can do whatever the hell I want, right? Yeah, I spent way too money and I need to send myself to bed early. But I'm going to eat this and I'm going to watch some YouTube. Bye. So I'm getting into bed. What was, ah, I just got my belly bar. Ouchie. What time is it? Oh, Five to eight and I'm getting into bed. I'm just like, to be honest, I want to be asleep by half nine. Like I just do. Like I'm tired. I'm just having some yogurt and granola. Oh, yum. Best night ever. Yeah, and I just wanted to kind of actually speak at the end of this video just about some things that like I've been feeling about the whole world opening up and all that kind of stuff and about like I'm sure like, quite a lot of you are feeling as well and you know obviously this video has been the first day of kind of freedom like I don't know whatever you want to call it um just getting back out into the real world and there being lots of people around and that kind of stuff um and I've been so excited to do that but on the complete other side I have been so anxious um and I'm not an anxious person at all anybody that knows me and I think you guys can probably guess from my videos. I'm not an anxious person at all. I'm very, very... I don't know. I just, I'm just very easy going. I kind of don't really... Nothing really phases me. But I think that for quite a lot of people that are like me, this thing gets to them as well. Um, it's just difficult. Like, obviously, everyone has their different situations. Everybody's been, you know, doing different things in lockdown, even with their family, on their own, with their friends, whatever. Um, I've been on my own. Um, and I've actually loved it. I mean, I've loved every second of it. But obviously then going out into the world and kind of being around lots and lots and lots of people is so polar opposite to that. It's ridiculous. Um, so I was quite anxious. I wasn't anxious to go out today because once I kind of knew I was going out and like that was happening and, you know, I was just excited. But kind of the build up to it and the thought of it happening was quite like nerve wracking for me, which is weird because it's a feeling that I've never felt before. And I kind of didn't really know what it was. And it was kind of... It was just strange, like it was just a strange feeling um, to be feeling but you know now that I've done it I feel a lot more relaxed and I think I just want to kind of say, because um, if anybody listening, if it helps anybody listening, once you do it and you get out there and you go and kind of face your fear of going out there into the real world or whatever, going out there into the normal world, once you've done it you'll feel so much better. Um, if you think about it like this, like say for me, right, 20 years old, I for 20 years life's been normal. Um, for the last, you know, year, it's not been so normal. But that doesn't mean you're not going to fall straight back into it. Do you know what I mean? You've had 20 years of, or however many years, of normal life. Just because you've had one year out of it doesn't mean you're going to completely not know how to function in normal life. You know, you're going to fall straight back into it so, so quickly. I think just once you do it, like, the excitement just kind of overtakes everything. Like, you know, it's not this whole big scary thing that you think it's going to be, or that I thought it was going to be anyway. Like, it just happens, it just flows, it's just, it's not even, it's not even a big deal. Like, it didn't even feel like any different. Like, obviously it was a really, really lovely day, and it was just nice to be doing stuff, but it didn't feel really overwhelming, um, for me. I mean, I am obviously understand that for some people it might do, but for me it didn't, and it was actually a really, really positive day. And I didn't once feel like, oh my god, this is, this is weird, this is different. Like, it was just, it was just nice, and it just felt like we'd gone back to normal life basically yeah i just wanted to kind of put that bit in just to say like i understand if people are feeling a bit anxious a bit nervous about going back to normal life because like i have everybody has i think it's it, everybody feels a little bit weird about going back to how it was um but once you've done it once i literally can't wait to get back, back out there again i'm like right guys come on we're going to the pub we're doing this we're going shopping blah blah blah, blah everything like this i just wanted to like book everything now although i kind of think i will feel it again when i kind of you know when we go out to pubs and clubs and stuff properly and you're like really mingling with a lot of people um i think that'll be quite difficult too but again i'm just gonna have the same outlook on it Do you know what I mean? once i've done it once just fall straight back into it and it's absolutely fine anyway i'm gonna probably end this video here actually so i really really hope you enjoyed watching kind of my like first day of freedom massive shopping trip massive shopping haul i really hope you enjoyed all the things that i bought i tried to keep it as bright and colorful as possible i think actually i only bought one black thing which is pretty impressive not gonna lie because i'm trying to make my wardrobe bright and colorful Do you know what i mean like now that the world's opening up like you're not going to see me in money black. Money black? Much black. I just want to be like bright colours. Like, come on. Like, you know, we are bright and colourful and positive and everything. I just, yeah, I just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the world to fully open up. And yeah, anyway, I hope this has been like a good insight into what my vlogs might be like when we eventually like life will fully go back to normal. Oh my God, it's so weird. It's so weird. I can't believe we've had, this today's happened. Like, it just felt like it was just so far away and now it's happened. I'm going to go catch you next week. Another vlog.